Just look, it's me again. It's very nice that the creators of this map leave so many Easter eggs with me. They chose your character because he is the most inconspicuous. I really hope that we won't get stuck anywhere else and we'll still be able to get to the end. I think you shouldn't have said this because this is what happened right now. Yes, we're stuck. Just look, this guy got out of the cart and decided to continue on foot. I really feel sorry for that guy and I even feel a little guilty. This guy flew in and stood right in our path. Oh no, he knocked us down a little. Hello everyone friends and today we together with Pomni will be climbing up on this cart. Wait, the whole point of the game is just to ride this cart along these rails and try to get to the very end. You're absolutely right, Jax. But at the end of this game, some gift awaits us. It is drawn on top of the progress bar and I really want to receive this gift. So I really want to complete this game to the end. Well, okay, and here you need to, how do you control this cart? I just still don't quite understand the rules of this game. Yes, here you can start it, stop it, and adjust its speed. And you can also adjust its direction. It seems to me that you cannot use these buttons, but simply remove them from the keyboard and drive forward. No, because if you pick up a high enough speed, your cart may fly off this road straight down and you will have to start the race again. Wow, Bubble. Have you already played this game? You know so much about her. I've never seen this mode in Roblox before. Just look! There are digitized characters down there. It seems to me that we definitely shouldn't fall down there because they might attack us and digitize us. Is it just me, or did I see the Gloink Queen below? Oh no! I definitely don't want to fall down there! Let's just drive forward carefully, Pomni, and try to get through this to the end today. This game reminded me of another game that is very similar to this one. I played it when I was a child. It is called Roller Coaster Tycoon. It's a classic management simulation game where players are tasked with building and managing their own theme park. Players can construct and design roller coaster rides, manage staff and finances, and cater to the needs of their visitors. It's a lighthearted and fun game where players essentially get to be the boss of the amusement park and call the shots. There are various modes and difficulties to choose from, making this game an enjoyable and accessible experience. I wouldn't say that this game is similar to the one you're talking about. Rather, she looks like No Limits 2. It's a fairly realistic and immersive simulation game where players can design and build thrilling roller coaster rides. Players have complete control over the design of the roller coaster, including the layout, speed, and terrain. You can create your own unique roller coaster and then take a seat in the first-person view to experience the adrenaline-inducing journey firsthand. I don't even understand why you call these games! After all, you need to build a roller coaster in them, but here, we only need to drive forward and control the cart! Judging by the progress bar above, we are already halfway through this game, which means that I think that we will reach the final reward very soon. Okay, let's just drive and try not to fall down. Look, some guy got out of the cart and decided to walk. Oh, he fell. I'm so sorry for this guy. Well, let's just drive forward. I hope we don't have the same fate as him. Look, there's a little Jax up ahead. Wait, what? This guy flew in and stood right in our path. Oh no, he knocked us down a little, and now our cart is not riding correctly on these rails. This is very bad. Guys, I think you should level your cart a little so we can move on normally, because otherwise we might fall down and have to go all this way again. Well, we're moving forward, but just look at this cart. It feels like she's about to fall down at the next turn. We have half the cart hanging over the abyss. It's good that there are no climbs or sharp turns ahead. An almost straight road awaits us to the very finish. I really hope the flying guy doesn't appear again and drop us to the bottom. I'm very scared to watch this cart ride halfway on the rails. It feels like she's about to fall down. I really wouldn't want us to fall down now because we've been climbing up here for quite a long time. The rails ahead of us seem quite uneven. Oh no! Looks like we're stuck. Let's try to increase the speed of this cart a little or move back and then try to drive forward. Another cart is approaching behind us. She may now collide with us. I hope this doesn't happen. Oh no, I think he's stuck too. What should we do now? Oh, it looks like he pushed us through. Well, now this guy's cart also doesn't run correctly on the rails. Well, I hope that we can get to the finish line together. Looks like he's stuck too. Sorry, guy. We can't help you because we're driving ahead of you. There's no way we can push you forward. Just look. This guy got out of the cart and decided to continue on foot. I really feel sorry for that guy and I even feel a little guilty. But I really hope that he will be able to reach the finish line on foot. 
One can only envy his determination to win. Okay, we only have a few turns left until the finish. I really hope that we won't get stuck anywhere else and we'll still be able to get to the end. I think you shouldn't have said this because this is what happened right now. Yes, we're stuck. The cart doesn't want to go either backwards or forwards. I hope that we will still be able to push it through somehow because we are just one turn away from the finish. Why did the cart decide to get stuck here? Well, we drove back a little, picked up speed, and now we'll try to accelerate through this place. Great! We did it! We're right near the finish line. I really hope that we won't fall off these rails while we climb up. Just look at how this cart rocks from side to side. It's like those videos on the internet where guys on motorcycles start to lose control and their handlebars start to spin randomly left to right. Seriously? Is this our gift? A long, boring obby that doesn't require any effort at all? I thought it would be something different. Maybe some cool skin or jetpack or the ability to super jump. Don't be angry, Regatta. They promised this gift at the end of the obby. I think it won't be difficult for us to get through this obby to the end. It's made for kids. I really hope that they really won't deceive us and will give us gifts at the very end. We have come a very long way to get to the end of this map. I can't say that it was very difficult, but there were still difficulties. Well, this doesn't even feel like a test. It's pretty easy. Riding this cart when strange flying guys are bothering you was much more difficult than jumping on these platforms. We went through obby and more difficult ones. Just look! It's me again! It's very nice that the creators of this map leave so many Easter eggs with me. Maybe I'm their favorite character. Don't flatter yourself, Jax. They chose your character because he is the most inconspicuous and would be perfect as an Easter egg. We are very close to the finish line. Just look. Now we need to go down into this guy's mouth. Okay, well, this obby is pretty simple. I don't know why they made it so easy, but we still have to go through it. I thought that our tests would end immediately after the roller coaster. We are almost at the very end. Now we need to choose the right doors and not die. Oh no, on the first try, we chose the wrong one. Wait, where is our skin? Why was our skin taken from us? This is unfair. So now we have to go through this game with the default skin. Okay, it's good that we don't have many tests left. We just need to walk a little and we will be at the finish line. Great, we guessed all the passages correctly. Well, let's now go through the remaining tests and see what gift this game has prepared for us. Here are the final tests. We just need to slide down this slide. Just look! What a huge Ferris wheel they installed here. Great! At this location, we will be given the opportunity to change our speed, add a super jump, and the ability to fly? This is very cool. Let's test it all and move on to the next game. Just look, it's some kind of creepy pig in a dress. Oh no, wait, something is happening to us. This strange girl appeared and now we are starting to lag. Just look at this guy. His hair looks like a lollipop that fell on the carpet and is now covered in hair. Maybe if we offer you pizza, will you leave us? But it looks like not. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Hellish Elevator again. This elevator looks a little different. It's different from the elevators we played last time. Oh my god, what are those loud noises? What's going on here anyway? This is some kind of floor with an incomprehensible green house. Why is everyone running around it and not going inside? What's going on inside this house? So far, everything that happens in this game seems too chaotic to me. Okay, I think we should get back in the elevator and head to the next floor. Perhaps there will be something interesting there. Well, okay, we have arrived to the next floor. It looks like some kind of barn. It's very dark here and you can't see anything. I wonder what awaits us in this barn. Just look, it's some kind of creepy pig in a dress. She really wants to kill us. Why is she here? She opened some kind of portal. I wouldn't be in a rush to go straight to it. Do you really want to try to get to the second floor? It seems to me that it is impossible to get there. There is an invisible texture there. Well, let's go to the portal and see what awaits us on the other side of this portal. Yes, I completely agree with the bubble. Let's go there. Oh, this is some kind of white room with pink light. Wait, what? This pig killed us? Oh no, not this. Okay, we're back at spawn. Okay, first attempt to ride the elevator was unsuccessful. Well, I think we need to go there again to look at the remaining floors. We ended up in the same barn again. I think we should now run into that portal and try to avoid the pig again. Are you sure you want to go down there? This pig is quite strange. I think she runs very fast. Just look how she fights with everyone. Great, we're back in the elevator. Well, this time we managed to avoid the pig. Let's try to wait for the next floor. Great, we've arrived on the next floor. Look, there are some huge buildings here. It looks like aliens are sitting here. What is this red button? Maybe it's worth stepping on it there. 
Yes, let's try to step on this button and see what happens. I think some glass broke. Oh look, we freed the aliens and now they are running after the rest of the guys. Well, it looks like we did it in vain. These aliens are so fast. We urgently need to run in the other direction from them. Wait, what is this light? Oh no! We were killed by this UFO. Where did it even come from? Did we also free him? Okay, now we're at spawn and let's get back into the elevator. Oh, what's going on here? Did this UFO try to fly right into our elevator? Well, let's get up and try to get out of this elevator again. Perhaps we can find something more interesting in this location. The main thing is to hurry up so that this UFO doesn't catch us. By the way, where did the aliens go? I do not see them. In fact, I don't know where they went, but I'm sure that we won't find anything interesting on this map. Look, we're back in the elevator again. Cool. Let's go to the next floor. Great! We're on the next floor. Wait, what is this? Clown! Is he in the sewer? Oh no, he took out a knife! Now he will kill us! We have time to prepare and hide from him. But I think I have a better idea. Let's just go where he went. I think this will be pretty fun, don't you? I've never heard anything more stupid in my life, but this is Roblox. There is no logic here. So just let's go forward. Look, there are three paths and some kind of fire in the middle. Maybe we should go into one of these tunnels? There is some kind of invisible wall in this tunnel. Maybe it won't be in the other tunnel. Well, it seems to me that she is there too. Okay, let's try to go back. Oh no! There's a steel grill here. Wait, I see him. It's him. I think we should try to escape from him. Oh no, he started running. He killed some girl. Oh no, he's running after us now. Oh no, he killed us. I don't understand where we were supposed to run. It's a confined space here and this clown is very fast. Well, we're back at spawn. Let's buy something in this store. We have accumulated quite a large number of coins. Maybe we should buy some kind of spiral or something like that. Great. We bought a lot of different things, but I don't know how they can help us. Well, let's go to the elevator again. Look at some purple tunnel here. It is very beautiful in here. I hope no one will scare us here. Oh, no, wait. Something is happening to us. This strange girl appeared, and now we are starting to lag. This happened recently. Maybe if we offer you pizza, will you leave us? But it looks like not. Okay, wait, have we lost all our loot? Is it because we lie? I think something really strange is going on here. Do you remember this already happened to us when we played Minecraft? It's happening again. Well, okay, we're in the elevator again. Let's see what the next floor has in store for us. Just look, there is some kind of corridor and a very creepy guy. Did he go into this portal? Let's go after him. We urgently need to catch up with him. I didn't understand half the words due to lags, but the main essence remained clear to me. Why are we here and just look? This is some very strange place. For some reason, this guy is standing near this pyramid. What should we expect from him? It seems to me that we can only wait for the moment when it moves. By the way, he turned in our direction and now he came closer to us. Oh no, our lights have gone out. Damn, what should we do? I cannot see anything. It's too dark in here. Looks like this guy is going to chase us in the dark. And no, look, there's a red light here. But this does not mean that it will be easier for us to pass this floor. We will again need to run away from some mad maniac with a knife. Just look! He has already killed someone and is running towards us. We urgently need to hide behind one of these columns. Oh wait! Is this the end? Great! This level is over. We're in the elevator again. Just look at this guy. His hair looks like a lollipop that fell on the carpet and is now covered in hair. Well, okay. Let's wait for the next level. This location looks pretty familiar to me. It seems to me that they have already seen her in one of the games, right? It looks like this is a location from Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, let's see. Wait, what? The light came on. Oh no, I know this guy. I saw him in Five Nights at Freddy's. He is very creepy. I hope he doesn't kill us now. By the way, guys, if you know this guy's name, write about it in the comments. Because to be honest, we all forgot his name. Oh no, it's him again. It's good that there is a huge glass here that doesn't allow him to get inside. Although, I think that... Oh no. Oh no, he's running right behind us. How did this guy even get through that glass? It seems to me that he should not walk around this location so freely. Well, let's just wait it out in the elevator and not get out. But I think we should go out and try to go into another corridor. Maybe there is something interesting there? Oh no, I think that was a bad idea. Well, we died again and find ourselves at spawn again. Just look at these wonderful sneakers. Now we'll go further down this elevator. 
Wow, they make light when they walk. This is very cool. This guy has the exact same ones. Just look at this. Okay, and here is the last location for today. These walls are so rusty. It looks like some kind of prison. I hope we don't go to jail in Roblox now. I would hate to sit in this prison wearing such cool sneakers. Nothing bad is happening here yet. We just walk around this location and explore it. Oh no, the light turned off. Perhaps this means that someone will appear soon. Well, it's good that we have cool sneakers that glow when we jump. This darkness is not scary for us and we can very quickly escape from the monster that may appear. But no one has shown up yet. Look, we have pizza. Great, we ate it. Well, let's wait for someone to show up. It might happen too soon. Interesting, where will this monster come from? Oh, just look, there's a face there. Wait, what? Everything turned red. Oh no, that face came out of that wall. I think that we shouldn't come close to it because it could start moving towards us at any moment. It looks really very creepy and makes a very creepy sound. Oh no, it killed us. Well, I suggest moving on to the next game. Traps on the floor? Who sets traps indoors anyway? Are you moving like Michael Jackson? It really looks like a moonwalk. Last time I didn't even notice there was a giant ugly mouth down there. And what is this yellow portal? I think you're colorblind, Kingler. This portal is not yellow, but orange. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play this very creepy circus again. It turns out that last time we didn't completely complete this game, we missed several levels. This time we know how to get through it, but I'm still wondering what kind of secret levels await us. How could we even miss several levels? It seems to me that this is impossible. They wrote to us that these levels should have been after we entered the clown's mouth, but for some reason they weren't there. It's really quite strange. Oh look, it's the red ball again. Lead us, buddy. Well, it burst again. This was to be expected. Damn, last time I didn't even notice there was a giant ugly mouth down there. How is it even possible that we are jumping on balls? Do we weigh two grams? That's right, I forgot. This is Roblox, there's no logic here. Just look, there's fire coming out of these holes in the wall. I have never seen this in boiler rooms. Yes. It seems to me that this should work somehow a little differently. Well, okay, we got through them. Now let's run through these pipes. These pipes will be a fairly easy test. We'll get through it pretty quickly. Yes, this pipe is quite tortuous. The main thing is not to rush and go through it carefully. Otherwise, we may accidentally fall off and fall down. These pipes are quite thin for this job. Have you seen those strange grabbing hands? It seems to me that this does not happen at all in ordinary boiler rooms. Okay. The most important thing is that we went through them. Now we need to jump through these pipes. I'm very interested in what the real purpose of these pipes is. It's very strange if they really wanted to make a ladder out of them and made it so unsafe. It seems to me that this spiral staircase made of pipes is endless. Why is she so tall? Why didn't they put an elevator here? I think it will be funny if we fall right on the last pipe. We tried so hard to get up. I finally see the end of this endless climb. It's good that there will be a checkpoint there. Otherwise, if I fell somewhere, I wouldn't want to climb that endless staircase again. Jax, are you fighting with the microphone? What are these sounds? It feels like you're hitting the microphone with your fist. Yes, a fly just flew into my room and sat right on my microphone and I tried to drive it away. Okay, it doesn't matter. Have you even noticed how thin the pipes are here? It's very hard to go through them. Oh, just look, circular saws. What are they even doing here? It's a circus. Have you guys forgotten that we also work in the circus and all sorts of strange things we don't have? It seems to me that if you try, you can also find circular saws somewhere here. I think Kane tried on this. Oh look, it's the guy with the balloons. Let's find out from him what he wants to tell us. He talks about hearing a clown laugh, but I don't hear anything. Okay, let's go to this Ferris wheel. Just look at this clown. Oh my god, how creepy he is. He's trying to catch up and kill us. We urgently need to jump into this Ferris wheel. Now let's go up on this Ferris wheel. I really want to see the view that opens from it. This clown is so stupid that he couldn't sit in the same booth with us. That's great. I hope we don't see him again. Great! We jumped onto some platform. Just look. This bridge is very thin. We need to walk on it very carefully. Otherwise, we may fall down. It's good that there was a checkpoint on this platform. Look, another obby with balloons awaits us ahead. I hope we can get through it without falling. We're doing pretty well. The guy with the balloons again. He says we need to get on this drop ride. I hope he's not deceiving us and we can really go down safely. This thing really doesn't look safe. Oh my God, where did she take us down? What is this, Lava? This circus is really weird. Okay, the main thing is that we went down. 
I hope this clown is not running after us now. I wouldn't want to run away from him by jumping on platforms. This dungeon is pretty creepy. Why did they even decide to do a job like this? It's weird to do stuff like that at the circus. Okay, let's move on. Are these huge falling knives? This looks really unsafe, and judging by the blood that is on these knives, someone is definitely out of luck. Huge swinging morning stars? This circus is really quite strange. Okay, the main thing is that we managed to pass them. I see the guy with the balloons again. What is this yellow portal? I think you're colorblind, Kingler. This portal is not yellow, but orange. Okay, let's go into it. This guy seems surprised that he's here. Checkpoint? Great. Now we need to cross this bridge. Who even makes bridges to jump on? Usually they are made in such a way that you can walk on them. Yes, we did it. Great. Bubble, I don't understand your indignation about bridges at all. You actually fly. Not only do you not need a bridge, you don't even need a path. You can go anywhere you want. Look, these things actually levitate in the air. It seems to me that this portal sent us to some other magical dimension. Maybe we shouldn't have listened to this guy. Another checkpoint. Great. There's some kind of ghastly portal waiting for us ahead. By the way, it is really yellow, unlike the past, which was orange. Well, let's go through this, Obby, and find out where the yellow portal will lead us. We are already there, and the guy with the balloons is here, too. He says this portal will speed us up. Great. Looks like it's going to be like the energy drink run in Barry's jailbreak. Cool. Now let's quickly run through this. Wow, we're running really fast. We have developed such great speed. I hope we don't fall while we're running so fast. These platforms are so curved. It seems to me that we don't even need to press the jump button to jump over these obstacles. Well, okay, we're past that. Now a blue portal awaits us. Let me guess, he'll give us a super jump? Well, of course, this portal made us jump very high. Otherwise, we simply would not have been able to climb up these platforms. They are located really high from each other. Just one jump left and we're at the top. Great. Yellow portal again? Cool. Now we'll be very fast again. What? Did we jump straight into a volcano? But where will we end up now? What kind of place is it? This guy with the balloons warns us that this place is very creepy. Well, I hope he's deceiving us. I wouldn't want Kane to pee his pants out of fear again. Stop constantly reminding everyone of this! It only happened once! Look, this is one of those tasks that we missed. But how did that door teleport us right to the very end last time? To be honest, I can't even imagine how this could happen. It really looks like some kind of clown magic. This task was actually quite easy. Perhaps this clown just decided that we were too cool for such simple tasks. Traps on the floor? Who sets traps indoors anyway? I can't imagine how much of a noob you have to be to step into one of these traps. They are really gigantic. It's just hard not to notice them. Okay, we've passed it. Now we find ourselves again in the task that we have already completed. This task was indeed quite difficult. Well, I think we can handle it on the first try. Just look how quickly Jax goes through all this. It's as if he was born to play this game. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's see if the clown has another test in store for us that we haven't seen. I don't remember this task exactly. But it seems to me that this task will be more difficult than the previous ones. Well, let's go through it as quickly as possible. I hope this is the last secret mission from the clown. Are you moving like Michael Jackson? It really looks like a moonwalk. I think that really helped him get through that level. Well, let's just head for the door now and see what happens next. Um, where are we? Oh, it's the guy with the balloons. Let's find out from him what we need to do. Kingler, have you forgotten? This is the end of the game. We've been here before. Okay, I thought these secret levels would be much more difficult. He's gaining altitude! I hope we won't fall now. This roller coaster really looks unsafe. I hope nothing breaks while we're riding it. Woohoo! We're going down! This attraction is actually quite scary. He picks up quite a lot of speed. Perhaps this is because we only have one carriage. Guys, have you really forgotten? We are about to fall off it because it is not completed. I think you need to eat more carrots to strengthen your memory. We just got out of this circus. Great, this guy with the balloons showed us the right way. Well, we've done this game, and now it's time to move on to the next one. Look at this venom! Oh my god, let's quickly press this button and run up from him. Wait, you see this too? You need to select the right button. He doesn't even move, he just stands still. Hello everyone, friends. And today we will escape from Venom's prison. Venom Prison? I just love Marvel. I hope there will be other Marvel bosses here too. It's a pity that there was only an easy mode for completing the game. I wish we could beat this game on hard mode. This mode was released only recently. They probably haven't had time to add a hard difficulty here yet. 
Okay then! Let's go ahead and see what awaits us in this game. So far everything is absolutely the same as in previous prisons in Bari. We need to get to the boss and see what boss fight awaits us. Look at this venom! Oh my god, let's quickly press this button and run up from him. I really hope he doesn't have superpowers in this mode. It seems to me that not only does he not have superpowers, but he is also very slow. This guy really can't catch up with us. Well, that was pretty easy. Let's just move forward. This guy is really too slow for a Marvel character. Well, I think it won't be difficult for us to complete this game. It's easier than all the other Barry prison escapes from the start. Well, now we will find ourselves in a room with toilets. It would be great if they could change this room in some way. But no, she remained the same. Look, they didn't even force us to dig a tunnel. Oh my god! I didn't think that the creators of this mode were so lazy. Well, okay, I think we can even set a record in this mode because we go through it pretty quickly. They even removed broken boards from the bridge. Seriously? Why did they decide to do this? This game is really too easy. What? They even removed the obstacles in the hallway with the rolling boulder. Is it now just a corridor to go forward? This is very stupid. This is no longer an obby, but some kind of easy, casual walk. Well, okay. Let's just go through this rolling boulder mission now and move on to the next boss, the knight. I'm very interested in how they changed his model. Are you seriously? Is this really the default boss knight from Prison Break Barry? But why isn't Venom or some other Marvel character here? Yes, it looks like the creators of this map are really lazy. Maybe we just didn't load his model, but I'm also disappointed that I saw an ordinary boss knight here. Well, let's go upstairs and move on to the next test. There are two more bosses ahead of us, and I hope that they tried to replace their models. Now we will be doing an energy drink race. I love it so much at this moment. The character develops such great speed. I wish I could play through the entire game at that speed. Well, we're almost there. I also really love energy drink races because they have a lot of action. Let's hurry to the vending and complete this race! The saddest thing is that they didn't even change the design of these rooms and they didn't even change the design of the race! It would be great if they added black colors and Venom logos, but unfortunately this did not happen. Yes, this is absolutely the same race as in Barry Prison. Well, it seems to me that they won't change anything else in this map. Well, that's the end. Let's not lose hope and just continue to go through this map. Maybe they will add something new next. Yes, I would also really like to see something new. Okay, let's go up these stairs and go into the room where we will need to drag the stairs to the ventilation. This is my least favorite task in this game. Yes, I agree. In order to complete this task normally, you need to place the ladder correctly under the ventilation. Very difficult to pass it on the first try. In general, I would really like to see new characters from Marvel because I really adore the villains from this universe and especially Venom. My favorite Marvel villains would have to be Thanos and Killmonger. Thanos is a powerful and relentless villain who is determined to achieve his goal of wiping out half of all life in the cosmos. He's a force to be reckoned with and someone who can't be stopped easily. Even when faced with the most powerful heroes, he still finds a way to win. I'm a huge fan of Marvel villains, and my favorites are definitely Loki and Thanos. Loki is a cunning and manipulative character who can always find an angle to gain the upper hand. He's a devious and clever villain who always manages to make things just a bit more complicated for the heroes. Meanwhile, Thanos is an unstoppable force of nature who is single-minded in his mission to wipe out half of all life in the universe. He's a powerful and imposing villain with a terrifying level of commitment and determination. Okay, we've identified your favorite Marvel villains. Now let's finally complete this task. Now we need to get through this ventilation and we will find ourselves in a huge wind tunnel. The main thing is not to forget to press the space button. Otherwise, we can lose a lot of time on this. Race with fans? I love this challenge as well as the energy drink run. This task is very fast. Yes, I really like it too. In general, I really like high speed in games. And in this task, everything really happens quite quickly. Well, we passed it very quickly, and now let's go to the huge wind tunnel. For some reason, it seemed to me that she would be a little earlier. Yes, I also thought that this task would be a little earlier. Maybe they just swapped them. Oh my god. Just look. They didn't change the chef's boss either. This is the standard boss from Barry's Prison Breaks. Okay, let's just defeat him as quickly as possible and move on to the next task. 
Jax, don't forget that you need to shoot directly at the head of this boss to deal more damage. This way, we can get through it much faster. We're almost done with it. Only a couple of shots left, and yes! Wait, you see this too? I think they changed the task with going down the mountain a little. You need to select the right button and... Yes, we have chosen the button we need. Now let's pass this test with lasers. The only thing left to complete is this task with lasers and the task with bridges. To be honest, I have already lost hope that the final boss will be changed somehow. They didn't replace the previous two bosses, but only replaced the boss at the very beginning. Well, that's pretty sad. I would love to play this game if it had Marvel supervillain bosses. Yes, they changed the task with bridges, but here we absolutely do not need to take bridges. We can just jump on the platforms and get to the final boss fight. They really made this game too easy. She even became a little boring. Well, let's look at the final boss. Of course, they didn't change it. Now it's just some flying boss with guns. He doesn't even move, he just stands still. I was hoping that they would try to change at least the final boss, but no! They didn't even fix the bug where the boss just stands in one place. These guys are really too lazy. Well, this game was too easy. Let's just beat the final boss and move on to the next game. Great! We beat him! Well, that was pretty easy. Towards the end, he even started moving towards us. But nevertheless, this did not stop us from winning. Okay, I didn't like this game very much because they changed almost nothing in it. Well, let's get in the car and move on to the next game. There's a very strange guy here. Why is our floor number now displayed incorrectly? Wait, really? Ducks falling from the sky? What should we do with them? Look, she has a gun. Oh no, don't shoot at us, weird blonde. Just give her the gun, What the hell is going on here? Look, this is a cute pink Pokemon. He's so cute. Looks like he killed us. Imagine what would happen if they all farted in this elevator at the same time. Uh, hello everyone, friends, and today we found ourselves in some kind of endless elevator. But what do we have to do here? I don't know yet. Let's just wait for this elevator to move. I wonder where he will take us. Okay, now we have to go. Wait, what? Why did we stay where we were? Um, there's really something strange going on here. I wish we could finally see where it takes us. I hope at least this time the elevator will take us somewhere. Okay, let's take a look and... Yes, the elevator brought us to some strange location. Why is this boomerang just spinning on the floor? What's going on here? This place is really strange. Well, let's head to the next floor. It seems to me that we didn't even notice that there was an evil Sonic in this location. Well, he didn't succeed in killing us. Why are there some drones in the elevator with us? I do not understand anything. I still don't understand what's going on here either. Okay, let's wait for the next floor. There's a very strange guy here. Looks like he's evil. Why is our floor number now displayed incorrectly? What's going on here? Does he want us dead? Apparently this guy is really evil. I hope he doesn't come into our elevator and kill us. Oh no! We could be crushed by a wall now. We urgently need to press ourselves against the second wall to prevent this from happening. Did she stop? Great. I thought we were really going to die. Well, this floor was actually pretty creepy. I hope that on the next floor something more adequate awaits us. Wait, really? Ducks falling from the sky? What should we do with them? Can they be collected or not? What's going on here? This game is really quite strange. I don't understand what's going on here at all. This is really quite crazy. I still hope that we can take at least one duck with us so that we can quack quack in the elevator when we get scared. Does this sound really relax you? I was afraid of ducks as a child because I was bitten on the butt by a duck when I was a child. This is all very cool, of course, but why the hell is there a boomerang on every floor? Why is it even needed? If I knew the answer to this question, I would definitely answer you. But now I can't understand what's going on in this game as a whole. Where do these guys even get skins and something like that? I saw that someone here even has a weapon. How can we get something like this too? Now we will get to some floor. Just look, this is a huge obby. Perhaps if we pass it, we will receive some kind of prize. So let's try to go through it as quickly as possible to reach the end first. Look, the water is rising. Could this mean that we have no room for error? I hope we don't fall there. Okay, now the main thing is not to rush because if we rush, we may fall down. The main thing is to be concentrated. This looks quite complicated. Go, Jax! I believe in you! You will succeed! Oh no, he fell into the water. Look, our HP decreases little by little while we are in the water. We urgently need to get out of this water. Why do you constantly repeat the word water? Did water pay you for advertising? Or do you just love water? Water, water, water. Well, it looks like we won't be getting a prize today. It's a shame I really wanted to get to the top of this obby. 
Did we die and start over in the lobby? Okay. I hope we don't have to go through the same floors we've already been on. Look, she has a gun. Oh no, don't shoot at us, weird blonde. We will give you all the money. Well, um, is our elevator completely filled with trash? What? Guys, this is an elevator and not a garbage chute. Why is there so much garbage here? Well, great. All the garbage has disappeared and now we are waiting for the next floor. I hope there won't be a room with ducks. And I would like to listen to the quack of ducks again. Okay, look, there are two guys standing here and one is asking the other for a hot dog. What's going on here? What the hell is going on here? This is really some strange nonsense. What did we just see? We found a hot dog. Great. I hope this guy isn't too sad about this. Now this hot dog is ours. I really don't understand what we need to do with him. Wait, does this hot dog make a sound? I think this is the best loot we could find in this game. I think this is one of the strangest games we've played. Besides Pomni's and the Bubble Favorite game, definitely the weirdest game I've played would have to be My Horse Prince. It's a mobile dating sim where you're dating an anthropomorphic horse. It's pretty strange and bizarre as you train and groom your horse and romance him in different settings like the beach, park, and other places. It's hilarious and completely unhinged, so it definitely qualifies as the strangest game I've ever played. I'm not even surprised that you played some nonsense like this. You really love weird games. The weirdest game I've played would have to be Goat Simulator. In this game, you play as a goofy looking goat who can do all sorts of crazy things like jumping on top of buildings and cars, destroying objects, and even flying around using a jetpack. It's a completely nonsensical and bizarre game with no real goal or purpose other than just causing as much chaos as you possibly can. Look, this is a cute pink Pokemon. He's so cute. I hope he gives us some interesting loot or something. Looks like he killed us. Well, apparently this Pokemon isn't as cute as we thought. Okay, we've reappeared in the lobby and now we need to go to the elevator. What are these sounds? These guys have pistols with grappling hooks. I also want such a gun. He would have helped us pass that obby that we couldn't pass. Okay, the elevator door opened and... What? A huge number of noobs come to us. Why are there so many of them? Imagine what would happen if they all farted in this elevator at the same time. I wonder if you can actually die from this. I can't make out what they are saying. Well, I hope this is something normal and we won't have to censor the word. Okay, they're gone. Now let's just wait for the next floor. Look, the door is opening. Oh my God, this is the room from the game portal. So I was playing through the game and had just completed a difficult challenge. I felt proud of myself for making it through. But then I suddenly heard a new voice saying, good job, dummy. Now do it again, but this time without using any portals at all. It turned out it was a joke added by the devs and I had just gotten trolled. Well, we're done with the room from the portal game, and let's now see what the next floor will be like. I hope there will finally be something where we get loot. Okay, the door has opened and let's see what awaits us on this floor. Um, Taco Rain? Seriously? Well, it even made me a little hungry. Wait, I just noticed that our hot dog is missing? Is it really possible for you to lose all your items when you die? This is very stupid. Someday we will finally understand why this boomerang is here, but it definitely won't be today. Okay, maybe we can finally get some tacos in our inventory. It seems to me that they cannot be selected. Well, it's just a floor of falling tacos. This game is really quite strange. I don't know what the final goal could be here, other than to go through all the floors that are here. Okay, let's move on to the next game. I think we need to go up these stairs and press that button on the second floor. Seriously? I thought big red buttons were just for decoration. Why does he even wear glasses if he only has one eye? That even such a small brain as Jax's can cope with it. If you say anything about my brain one more time, I will make a swing out of your ribbons and put a 130 kilogram fat woman on it. I just love playing with poop, squeezing pimples and other things you call disgusting. Please, when a pimple pops up on my face in real life, don't even come close to me. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Mr. Stinky's Prison Escape. I wonder what difficulty I should choose. You did the right thing by choosing expert difficulty. It seems to me that only noobs play at the easy difficulty level. Seriously? The secret passage from the prison cell was blocked by a huge piece of cheese? Well, I think this prison is quite strange. I completely agree with you, Regatta. Okay. I think we need to go up these stairs and press that button on the second floor. Seriously? I thought big red buttons were just for decoration. 
Pomni, you don't have to say such obvious things. I think I could have guessed that this button had to be pressed. Look, it's Mr. Stinky. Great, we pressed the button and now we definitely need to run to that exit. This Mr. Stinky looks very funny. Why does he even wear glasses if he only has one eye? Okay, I guess it's not that important. Let's just go up these stairs and go to the next area. Bye-bye, Mr. Stinky. Stay in this room and continue to stink in here. I already like this map. It's really nothing like Barry's prison break. Look, someone left their smelly socks in this ventilation. There are also cans of stinky beans and stinky cheese. Who even leaves ventilation like this? This terrible smell can spread throughout the entire ventilation shaft and later throughout all the rooms. It seems to me that this way Mr. Stinky creates a favorable atmosphere for himself. Okay, let's just try to get out of this prison. To do this, we need to go through all these obby. So far, I can't say that this is really some kind of difficult mode. The only difficulty here is the rather narrow platform we just jumped onto. I don't see anything more complicated here. As soon as you said this, Jax immediately fell. Perhaps this fan was blowing too hard and Jax could not cope with the force of the airflow. He never admits his mistake. Rather, he will say that his mouse is dead or his screen is frozen. Or maybe a button on the keyboard is stuck. But he definitely won't say that it was his mistake. Maybe you should just shut up and stop pestering me. Let's just get through this game without further ado. Guys, stop quarreling. We just passed this trampoline test. Okay, let's see what we have next. Oh, just look. This is a test with lasers. It's almost the same as in Barry's prison break. Only there we went up and here we go down. This test is much more difficult than the laser test in Barry prison. There were just spinning lasers, but here there are whole laser grids where you need to get into one cell. We did a great job with this. It was pretty easy. Even if it's a little more complicated than what we did before. Wait, was this really a task? Did we just have to change all the glasses to red ones? It seems to me that the task could not have been easier. Well, okay. The main thing is that we dealt with it. And now, the next boss, Stinky, awaits us. While you were telling me how easy this level was, we have already passed this boss and are moving on to the next location. You are such a chatterbox bubble. Look at this, something like a race with energy drinks only here instead of energy drinks. There is cheese. Okay, let's see what comes of this. Wow! Is it just me, or does the character here run even faster than the character in Barry's prison after you drink an energy drink? This cheese is really some kind of super accelerating cheese. Yes, I thought so too. It's a pity that in this game the race doesn't last as long as in Barry's prison. But nevertheless, I really liked it. I especially liked it because at the end of the race we have to jump on a trampoline. This is very unusual. Great! We're done with it! Let's now see where we need to go next. Oh, I think I see a shovel. This task is already familiar to us. In Barry Prison, we dug a tunnel in the room with the toilets. Here, we also need to dig a tunnel, but in some kind of sandbox. Look, it's just another obby. I think it looks pretty complicated. There are a lot of winding paths, and you need to constantly jump. Kingler, are there obbies in which you don't need to jump? It seems to me that you are talking complete nonsense. Perhaps if you think that this level is too difficult, you are already too old for it. It seems to me that you are swearing too often today. Look in this challenge, you need to take a huge cheese and put it on this platform to make the door open. Otherwise, if we just step on it and then walk away from it, the door will close again. Abby again? I would love to see logic puzzles in this game. The riddle with the glasses was of course quite interesting, but it seems to me that even such a small brain as Jax's can cope with it. If you say anything about my brain one more time, I will make a swing out of your ribbons and put a 130 kilogram fat woman on it. So if I were you, I'd be more careful with my words. Okay, don't be angry. It was just a friendly joke. I didn't think she would cause such a reaction in you. Maybe you need to learn to laugh at yourself. Your joke seemed more offensive to me than all the name calling I ever heard at school. Uh, believe me, I suffered a lot of bullying at school. I would really like to know how you were insulted at school. But it seems to me that you won't tell it. No way in life. So let's just focus on completing this map as quickly as possible. I would really like to get on the leaderboard for beating this game on hard mode. Look, these are some giant hammers with spikes and a bob sticker. Be as careful as possible, Jax. Don't rush forward, otherwise this may lead to you having to start the test again. 
Guys, more than beat this game, I want only one thing for you to stop giving me meaningless advice. If you are such professionals in this game, then why am I sitting and playing it instead of watching you do it? Perhaps this happens because you always say that you are the one who will play the game today. The only time you give up a game is when we play our favorite game, Pomni. But it seems to me that all of us except Pomni and the bubble would give it up. I just love playing with poop, squeezing pimples and other things you call disgusting. It's a lot of fun. Please, when a pimple pops up on my face in real life, don't even come close to me. Don't you dare come within a meter of me. I don't trust you with my beautiful face. Look, we're going somewhere on a zip line. All my life, I've been amazed in games by how the main character can calmly use a zip line. I don't know the end point of movement. He's just trying for this stick and he's going, I don't understand where. In this game, we simply had no other options. The only way we could continue our journey in this prison was a zip line. Great, we've landed somewhere. Let's see what awaits us here. Look, I see some strange multicolored thing in the distance. I think we definitely need to approach her and interact. This is definitely something important. She has an eye. Let's see what we need to do here. Wait, this is a platformer style boss fight? What? It was certainly done in an interesting way, but I was definitely expecting something different. Something more colorful and fun. Why is his health declining so slowly? We're hitting it! This guy is pretty agile. He is very lucky that he can pass through the platforms on which we stand. This is a huge advantage for him. He flies after us so actively. It seems to me that the best tactic to fight against him is to find some position and shoot from it for a long period of time. Then again, move away from him to a safe distance and shoot until he gets close to us. While you were telling me your very interesting, very smart, mind-blowing tactics, I was able to defeat him. Okay, is this the end of the game? There was some kind of flash and we fell into the water. Need to get out of here. Just look! It's our huge copy calling us! I see the leaderboard there! We urgently need to come up and find out whether we are on the leaderboard or not! For now, we maintain a leading position in the leaderboard on this server. Unfortunately, we are the only ones on it. Wait! Are we really going to climb the steps on a jet ski? Um... How does it work? Oh my god, just look at this water. It really looks like jelly or something. Hey, fatty! Try to catch up with us! Ha ha, it was so easy! Bye bye, buddy! You can't doubt me, Kane! I'm pro in this game! Press the jump button. Okay, what did you say? I think you overestimated yourself a little. Um, Jax, are you serious? This was one of the easiest tasks in this game. Great, you did it! We completed this game in 600 seconds! It was pretty easy! Hello everyone, friends, and today we are playing Barry Prison Escape with Water. What's another prison break? Did they make some new part? Yes! And here you can ride jet skis! I'm wondering if there will be a jet ski in the last boss fight? So far, I don't see anything new in this prison escape. All tests are exactly the same as in the original. Guys, stop complaining. We've only completed the first two tests. Let's see what awaits us in the first escape from the boss. I'd like to see something new in Barry's prison break. Oh, look, it's water and jet skis. Do we really have to run away from him on a jet ski? Let's wait until he moves a little to the left. Great, let's mm. swim to the button. That's it, now we can go upstairs. Look, there are a lot of cops behind bars. Wait, are we really going to climb the steps on a jet ski? Um, how does it work? Overall, this is a pretty interesting mechanic. It really adds something new to the game. Okay, now let's get through this obby and see what lies ahead. They didn't even change that obby. There is too little innovation in this game. Okay, I hope there's really something new ahead of us. Okay, now we'll find ourselves in a room with toilets. Do you think it will be flooded? No, it's still the same room with toilets. Okay, let's dig down and see what awaits us in Obby Dungeon. This tunnel also remained unchanged. Well, let's see what awaits us in the dungeon. Maybe there will be water instead of lava. Um, no, it's still lava here. They didn't even make a new Obby here. Okay, let's go through it quickly. I think we can get through this with our eyes closed, but no. Jax, how did you fall? It's good that the checkpoint has been preserved and we don't need to go through it again. Okay, let's take this last step and then a tunnel with a huge rolling ball awaits us. This obby is really light. For me, it is always associated with the upcoming boss. I'm wondering, will we have to run away from the boss night on a jet ski? In general, it will be quite strange if there is water on the second floor, but there is none on the first floor. Physics works a little differently. Normally, the water should float downward. I can't wait to see this boss. I hope they at least changed his model. 
Boss Knight has always been the easiest of all bosses. You can get through it using a life hack. Oh my god, just look at this water. It really looks like jelly or something. Okay, here comes the Boss Knight. He also has a jet ski. We need to turn this lever? Great, we did it! Hey, fatty, try to catch up with us! Ha ha, it was so easy! Bye bye, buddy! Great, we've done it now! We need to overcome these stairs, and we will find ourselves in a location with a race with energy drinks. This is my favorite part of this game. I like the speed that the character develops. It really gets really fast! Now we will go up using this elevator and find ourselves right there! Great, we are in place! Well, let's start the race! I hope we can pass this the first time. Don't worry, Pomni. Jax is a pro at this. He also loves this challenge more than any other in this game. I think this is the most interesting part of this game. I wish I could complete the entire game at that speed. Yes, he's really fast. What if only in real life energy drinks would give such super speed? Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Okay, we've already passed this race. Now the most tedious part in this mode awaits us. I just can't stand this ladder task. I never managed to jump on the vent the first time. I completely agree with you. This task is the stupidest in this game. I would like to see it replaced with something more active. I wonder if there will be water there too. In this game, there is water only in the boss areas and in the very first prison cell. If only they could actually make it possible to play this game entirely on a jet ski. It would add a lot of variety to this game. I'm not even surprised that you couldn't jump into the ventilation on the first try. This task is truly idiotic. The height of this ladder is not enough to properly jump into the ventilation. Look, they added water under this bridge. I wonder why they even did this. I don't think we should check whether it's possible to swim in this water. Let's just pass this test and head to the valves. But it seems to me that the task with the valves is the most tedious task in this game. It's even more boring than jumping from the stairs into the ventilation. They don't even change the location of the valves in this location. You just need to follow the same route and turn three valves to go further. Have you seen this guy with a huge laser beam coming out of his hand? I wonder how this could help beat this game. Could we really do more damage to the boss with this beam? I think this is a waste of Robux. We will go through all this without boosts. Totally agree with you. It seems to me that this Abi race is much more interesting to complete without the help of boosts. Great. We unscrewed all three valves. Now let's send all the ventilation, and then a more interesting test awaits us. I really like the fan run. There the character also develops quite a lot of speed, like in a race with energy drinks. Okay, we're almost there. It's good that the most boring part of this game is over. Look. It took us only 370 seconds to complete half the game. Does this mean that we can set our own personal Barry Prison break record? It looks like we will really succeed. Great! Now let's complete this fan run as soon as possible. I hope Jax doesn't screw it up and gets through it the first time. You can't doubt me, Kane. I'm pro in this game. The hardest part of this game is left behind. Now, after we complete the race with fans, Boss Chef is waiting for us. I wonder if there will be a jet ski there too? Now the most important thing is to remember to press the jump button. Okay, what did you say? I think you overestimated yourself a little. Now completing this game will take us a little longer. I hope we can still set our personal record. Look, there is also a jet ski in water. This means that these benches will not interfere with us and we will be able to kill this boss much faster. Cool, these benches always annoyed me. Jax, I think you have a little problem with your aim. Maybe you should swim away from him to a safe distance and shoot at him while in one place? It will really be easier. Look in this mode, the weapon does a lot more damage. It really makes things easier. Now this boss fight has become even easier than it was. Great. It won't take us much time and we can reach the finish line much faster. It's a pity that they didn't provide the opportunity to go down this slide on a jet ski. It would be much cooler than just sliding off it as usual. It would be like going down a slide at a water park. Either way, this slide is always fun. Okay, now we'll go up this ladder, and a challenge with lasers awaits us. Do you think there will be water there too? Look at the water here. Wait, do we have to swim up this water? I hope this doesn't affect maneuverability in any way. Oh no, management has really changed. I find it more difficult to swim from side to side. Okay, now I'll concentrate as much as possible to pass this test the first time. Last laser left. Great, you did it very cool. 
To be honest, I didn't even believe that you could pass this the first time. Okay, now we just have to pass the bridge test before the final boss fight. I hope you remember the life hack on how to complete this task faster. Are you talking about the fact that you need to reset all the bars down first? It seems to me that all players in this mode know about this life hack, which they went through Obby Prison Barry Escape at least three times. Um, Jax, are you serious? This was one of the easiest tasks in this game. How did you manage to screw this up? Now we definitely won't be able to set a record. Concentrate more. I hope you can make up for this time by killing the boss faster than usual. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes. Okay. I'm sure he can get through this as quickly as possible. I really want to see the final boss fight. We only have two bridges left to build to see the final boss fight. I'm pretty sure they added water and jet skis there. I think it really adds variety to this boss fight. The main thing is that the final boss does not lay down as happens in most of these modes. Okay, let's take a look at this location. There is water and a jet ski here, cool! Okay, look, this is the final boss! Hooray! He does not stand in one place but follows us! Great! But why isn't he on a jet ski? He might drown! It seems to me that for him to drown, he needs to fall on his back. Okay, Jax, don't forget that you need to shoot his guns to defeat him. Guys, don't worry. I've already defeated these bosses 50 times. This boss is much easier to defeat due to the fact that we have a jet ski. I have already taken away more than half of his HP. It will be an easy victory. Come on, Jax! Only a few shots left. Great, you did it! We completed this game in 600 seconds! It was pretty easy. I really like this mode. I'm waiting for them to release a mode where you can play through the entire game on a jet ski. Wait, are we really going to the finish line by car? Um, but why? There's water all around here, and we're on a jet ski. We can get there with it. Okay, I'm not looking for logic in this game anymore. But look how fast this car goes. It feels as if this is not a car, but some kind of speedboat or train. Great. I liked this mode. Now let's head to the helipad. Hello, everyone, friends. Today we are playing School Escape on Roblox. The following will play with me today. Kane, Regatta, Pomni, Kingler, and Zubal. Guys, say hello to the audience. Are you playing from the zoo? It sounds as if you are now in an enclosure with monkeys. Hello, everyone, friends. Hello, everyone, dear friends. He just went back to his parents for Christmas. Hello, everyone, friends. From a scientific point of view, you are wrong, remember? He is a hare. This means that he must be with the hares. And hares, as a rule, do not make sounds. Hello, everyone, dear viewers. Hare. I kept thinking he was a rabbit. Hi, everybody. I'm not a hare. How many times do you need to repeat? Have you even seen my ears and long paws? Rabbits don't have these. They are usually very passive and fluffy. And I have smooth hair. You're too cute for a bunny. And too cowardly, I think. That's why I think you're more like a rabbit. But okay, the hair is a hair, he persuaded. Have you ever thought that each of us is a different creature who speaks like a human being? In theory, only Pomni should be able to talk. Okay, that's not what I'm thinking about. Let's play. Yes. That's not what you're thinking at all, Kingler. We are now doing parkour in the basement of some school. Don't you think it's strange at all that there are such passages in the school basement? Maybe this is some kind of school for minors or something like that? School for minors? What the hell are you talking about, Jax? The most common technical underground premises? Yes, with a strange location. But this is Roblox. Everything is different here. It's a pity that in Roblox, not everything is like in life. I would like Robux to become a global currency. And we could pay in all stores using Robux currency. It would be cooler than Bitcoin. I wonder how many Robux Hershey's would cost. Guys, what are you talking about today? Is Robux a global currency? What are we even talking about? We're just playing Roblox here. Listen, does this mode remind you of anything? We've already played Escape from a women's prison, Escape from a farting prison, Escape from a children's prison, and now this. Holy cow. We play the same game again and again, just in a different shell, right? No, Zubal. This particular mode is very different from the previous ones. There are no repeating rooms or identical bosses. I like playing this mode much more than others. The boss in this level is again too fat. I wonder where is the best place to escape. By the way, it's very strange that in every level the boss is fat. Maybe fat people are just very angry? Hey! This is called fat shaming! In general, not all modes had fat bosses. In the children's prison, the babies weren't fat. All children are a little chubby when they are born, but this does not mean that they are fat. 
In general, this mode is really very interesting. It is much more interesting than all the previous ones, and definitely more interesting than a gym simulator or something like that. I'm already tired of grinding in these modes. Yes, everything here is like in a real school except for the basements. Look, even now we have come to some kind of gym. It's true that no one in the gym has a huge gap, but it's still similar to what you'd have in a real school. This is much cooler than previous shoots. If there was a huge pit in our school gym, I would be the best athlete because I wouldn't want to die. If there were huge pits in the gym at my school, I would simply not go to physical education. It would be very stupid to fight for your life every lesson. Do I look like a Viking? Like at the beginning, 30 people are recruited into a school class and only five reach the end of the school, all beaten and with pain in their eyes. And I would go to such physical training. I'm flying. I don't really care about these giant pits. I could only die if I fell asleep on a mat somewhere at the very top. I guess with your love of sleep, this wouldn't be a problem. I remember when we were all going camping together and planned to get ready at 8 a.m. As a result, you woke up only at 3 p.m. when we had already returned from there. Yeah, or how you yourself scheduled a morning meeting for us and postponed it until tomorrow all week. And why? Because you've been playing Fortnite all night, Kane. Maybe you should stop playing games until late. You have a lot of time in the evening. Guys, I'm quite an old man. If you are young and can sleep for four hours, then be active and vigorous. At my age, if I don't sleep eight hours, I'll be exhausted all day. So show some respect. I completely agree with Kane. At this age, it is almost impossible to sleep less than nine hours. The body simply refuses to wake up. It's as if your body doesn't listen to you, and you only want to sleep and are ready to do anything for it. Maybe then you should go to bed earlier, like 8 p.m. or 9. Then you will have enough time to get enough sleep, and you will be able to wake up early in the morning and have time to do all your business. Or maybe you should try to fall asleep at 8 or 9 p.m. yourself. What will happen to you then? Will you wake up at 5 a.m.? And what should I do from 5 a.m. to 8 while everyone is sleeping? And falling asleep earlier is an almost impossible task. You lie down in bed, but still can't sleep. And you lie there until 5 a.m., until your body begins to give up. Okay, stop arguing. Elders must be treated with respect. When we become old, we will definitely understand you. In the meantime, I'm glad that I can play all night, sleep for a few hours, wake up, take a shower, and feel 100% alert. When I was young, I could do the same, but now I have lost all these opportunities. And I'm very sad about this. Imagine, I can fly, perform magic tricks, and do a lot of other magical nonsense, but I can't sleep for four hours. It's really sad for me. Sorry, Kane. I didn't know this was a sore subject for you. I won't talk about this anymore. Thank you for telling us about this. Yes, I also didn't know that it was so difficult for you. This is why I don't want to grow old. This is terrible. You sleep for almost a third of the rest of your life. It's horrible. But we don't need to deal with nonsense like school, homework, and other nonsense. We can just wake up any day and sit down to play whatever we want, and no one will stop us from doing this. That's the cool thing about getting old. And a long sleep is what balances our capabilities. What is this? Racing? Admit it. Who at school also had a racetrack with go-kart cars? I personally didn't have one. Then why run away from this school? I would spend my whole life in it, and specifically stayed for the second year so that I could have free karting. Oh no, I lost. I didn't know she could explode from something like that. Map creators, have you even played GTA 5 or BM Engine Drive? Cars shouldn't break from a slight jump LMAO. By the way, about GTA, maybe we can make a Let's Play based on it? I really love GTA, especially the modes where you need to undergo tests on cars in the sky. By the way, I recently won a car in a casino in GTA Online. I now have a cool McLaren. Yes, we can film a Let's Play for GTA 5 only if the viewers write about it in the comments. I remind you, dear friends, that we are waiting for your comments with the games you love. We will definitely play your favorite games in our videos. And if you are still watching our videos without subscribing, be sure to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos. Hooray! We are still leading in this race. Of course we will be ahead. Have you even seen the size of this teacher? How can a go-kart even go when he's driving? There's no wait for it. 
You see, there is even carting in this mode. There was nothing like this in past prison escapes. Of course, there was some kind of track with a car, but it was very poorly made. There, the car looked like it was flying, and there was no enemy there. You just drive in a straight line, and that's it. All that remains is to see the final boss. Although, even if I see some Cyber Teacher 3000 with lasers in his hands, I won't be very upset. This game is already much more interesting than all the previous ones. Something tells me that this will happen, because all other games are completely copied from this one. I wouldn't say it's very bad. This gives the game variety, but they are all made too boring and monotonous. And this game has so many possibilities that every room surprises me with something new. This is great. Look, Cyber Teacher 3000 with lasers instead of hands, Zubal, have you already played this game? Okay, as I understand it, the requirements for winning are the same here. You just have to shoot him in the hands, right? No. Here it is enough to hit him with projectiles. Everything is very easy. But nevertheless, I really like the game. I give it 10 points out of 10. Yeah, me too, especially karting. This is very cool. The game has puzzles, a shooter, and racing. This game combines several modes. This is great. The only thing missing here is to add the ability to build, and this will be a cool alternative to Fortnite. Great. We beat this game. It wasn't difficult, but the tasks were really very interesting. True, something more interesting could have been added in the final boss fight. In any case, it didn't make the game any more boring. Yes, the game turned out to be quite fun. I really liked Kartung. Now I'm going to look for racing on Roblox. Perhaps if our viewers know some interesting modes with cars, I will definitely play them.